We are back to the top. It's the 2019 Freeride World Tour overall champion. Marcus Eder is in the Starcade. He won on this face last year. He is always a threat anytime, and he's going out to the skiers right. Neil, this is exciting right now. Yeah, it sure is, styling it out off that top. But the first person I've seen it with, with apart from before, and I'll go to the lookers at the left side of the venue. So Marcus, as you said, last year's World Tour champion for interesting stuff like that. Holy oh, damn, oh, oh. Marcus, laying it out off that top head. Marcus is making his claim on this. He is going over into a zone where there's no way to ski out of without airing. Through the pepper with a double and back into the sun. Marcus Eater is here. Look at that slough flowing off the cliff just as he flows into a cork three to bolt. Absolutely stomping that one. Marcus Eater unstoppable right now. Moving cross court into this lower section with another flip, but it's not gonna work for Marcus. Oh, that is a heartbreaker as Marcus going down. The Italian Marcus Eder in the start gate. Marcus Eder from South Tyrol. Uh, one of my favorite skiers, I'm gonna say. I'm just gonna put it out there. That these guys are all my favorite skiers, but Marcus just putting it sideways and enjoying the power like that is just such a pleasure to watch. And will we see a seven of him? I wouldn't be surprised. Don't want to jinx him. Flat, flat spin three. Really nice flat three, Japan. Japan is the name of the grab. We are also in Japan, but just uh, wanted to clarify that. Yes. Huge transfer for 60, not the cleanest of the landings. That was so sick, though. I don't think the angle really did it justice. That was a pretty huge transfer, and now just absolutely sending it through this double down area that we saw Andrew come unstuck on before. Looking a little bit wild himself, but staying on his feet for now. And hopefully the whole run down, of course. Mark is following the track from uh, Yu Sasaki, I believe. So, really cool creative line so far. Putting in a sprint eagle, just for fun, maybe intentionally. Getting caught up in a tree, but I think he's already past the end of the judging line. Next in the start gate, currently. Second in the overall rankings. Tell us a bit about this guy, Marcus Ader. He is, with his young age, already a legend of the sport. Uh, coming from freestyle, getting into backcountry freestyle, and now big mountain riding. He has been filming with Matchstick Productions, a major ski pro <laughs> film production out of the US of A for five years and producing some amazing segments every year. And now he's back on the Freeride World Tour. So what would you say Marcus Ader has got to do in this run if he wants to get in that number one spot? Has he got to look to his freestyle skills and throw a few tricks in there? Or has he got to go full big mountain, big line, lot of speed, and a few big drops? I think both can work. He has it both dialed in. Look at the technical section he's going into. This is so steep. And he has the tricks in his bag. Like, he has butter sevens, you know, off cliffs. And uh, if we see some of that, mm, yeah, of that excellence of tricks, of big cliffs of him, Here he has a chance to go. go for the big title of today. That was a mega line traversing Al into the next shoot. Already a shifty over that beautiful side hit of the Hollywood. And here we have 360 on that section. There it is, showing a bit of a freestyle. Look, so he's freestyle. lining up. Oh, good one. Butter three. Oh, oh, he's, oh. The he's claiming it already. What, I mean, the technical skill to butter off a cliff like that is <laughs> insane, isn't it? It's the first try. It's the, the, the visual inspection from the opposite side of the mountain. We have the man, current world tour leader, in the gate right now, Marcus Eder. And you know he wants to sit on the top step of the podium right here. Marcus Eder rolling out for his run right now. That's right, Logan Behoda, one of the last riders to drop last year and taking Marcus out of the hot seat at the last minute. Marcus now halfway through the field. Weezy's footsteps going over here into the ultra technical zone in the new zone that we didn't really see put to play last year. So we're going to see what Marcus has in this section going into the same zone as Craig Murray with the three and getting a little bit caught up but managing to land on his feet because he's a cat and a huge, huge one there. Huge transfer here. Straight into the same one as Craig with the cork three safety. Boom, Marcus. Oh, oh, oh Marcus Eater. He wants it bad and you can see it there. That was massive.
ginormous three. three holding the grab all the way just looking so solid in the air. I think he might have taken it even deeper than Craig. We're in the yellow bib today. Marcus Eder, he is ready to roll. I bet he has something picked out that is going to wow us. He's heading uh, towards the snowboarder men's zone over to the Sunny Pow side. Uh, we're going to see what he's got in store for us over there. That's right, Marcus, such a nice guy, and as you say, such a relaxed attitude, but such a super sender as well. Taking that top hit big, and that's into exposure as well. I'm not sure if you can see it from the camera angle, but nice 360 there as well, joining the Victor De La Rue club. And looking for a transition over here, maybe. Yeah, getting a little face shot there as he popped the top off the spine, and now moving across. Getting cross court there, finding transition, super smooth there. This is really creative in the classic Marcus Eater style. He's always just got a slightly different take on the on the face. Now he's going to come in underneath this thing and getting still making his way back up across there. Transitioning again, transfer airs. We love them. He obviously loves them, and that's a really good pick today with the snow. I think if you go four line, it can be hard to shut it down. So popping up and over to give yourself as much speed or as little speed as you want to land in exactly the right place. Really smart scheme from Marcus. Now lining up a nice laid out backflip there and he's going to get cross hill off this one as well. Smooth top to bottom run for Marcus Eater. He was all over, he's really used up, you know, the whole mountain, side to side. Please welcome 